Since when do ribbon cuttings involve crippled kids? We wouldn't call him crippled to his face. Sorry, kid, but let's face it, you're crippled. Michael, meet Jack. Don't touch me. After hearing about his brave battle with leukemia, I decided a blood drive would be a much better symbol of your heroism than a simple ribbon cutting. Well, another needle in the arm doesn't sound like a celebration, unless it's putting something in. We can celebrate properly later. He's ready. Okay, you know I can't give that kid my blood, so go away. Thank you, Michael. Tell your agent the check's in the mail. You played me with a fake kid? Well, the kid's real, he's just not sick, but you are with hepatitis. Since I don't have it, I know you didn't give me blood. It's the only way I could get you to admit it. So I guess this is the end of the Jack Bass wing? Well, we can discuss that after you tell me the truth. I'd like to think my night with Pamela Anderson was worth it, but it hasn't seemed to slow me down. I like to think of myself as the Magic Johnson of Hep C. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? And give up a hospital wing in my name? We both know if you wanted one, you'd just buy one. You're covering for who really gave me the blood. Elizabeth. She didn't want you to know. Especially after she told you she wasn't your mother. Well, I guess this proves otherwise once and for all. I'd like to thank her. She's unreachable. I mean, just refer to your previous 20 years on Earth. Let it be. Does it matter why you're alive? The fact is, you are. This weekend did remind me how much I value all my senses. We're all the family we need. Let's do this again. My turf next time. Andrew, you remember the woman with the locket I had you look for a couple years ago? Elizabeth Fisher. Yeah, my mother. I need to find her again. While old relationships can be re-examined, <laughs>